Good afternoon, guys. What is going on? Let's have a look at the broader market here. Bitcoin holding 47.6, guys. Still looking strong. My guess for Bitcoin, uh, or not my guess, but my analysis of Bitcoin, uh, I see us going to about 52K. And the reason that I say that is because uh, 52K would make a uh, $1 trillion market cap for Bitcoin. And I think that once Bitcoin hits a trillion dollars in market cap, uh, this time right now, for now, in the in the short term, <clears throat> I think it's going to hit a wall there and then we'll start to see the alts pop off, right? Uh, so that's where I see it going. Uh, 52K, roughly. Uh, I told you guys it was going to 58 uh, last week and it did it hit 58 i think we're going to 50 52 ish trillion dollar market cap let's see what happens guys alts are looking good veracity and beam looking juicy jasmine still holding above 2056 very nice got to get a good daily close today guys uh yeah looking good across the board i mean some good dc opportunities and a lot of pump action going on so uh, alliance block looking juicy as well so let's have a look at what's going on today, guys. Sega changes game plan, embraces blockchain ventures after sales dip. What I would say, guys, is make sure you're joining the Discord because uh, it's free because we talk about all kinds of stuff down there. So check it out. <clears throat> Sega, a titan in the gaming industry, recently signaled a strategic pivot towards integrating blockchain technology into its operations. The move comes as the Tokyo-based company faces a downturn in its financial outlook due to the overwhelming game sales during the 2023 holiday season. Sega, known for its iconic franchises like Sonic the Hedgehog, faced a challenging period. Uh, titles like Sonic Superstars, Endless Dragon, and Total War Pharaoh did not perform uh, as, as expected. As a result, Sega revised its sales and profit forecasts downwards, attributing uh, the adjustment primarily to the lackluster performance of its new releases in the third quarter of the, finan of the financial year. <clears throat> the backdrop to Sega's financial woes includes a broader video game industry trend of plateauing market expansion uh, in key regions such as Europe and the U.S., Exacerbating, exacerbated by the inflation-driven, uh, worsening economic environment. Coupled with rising game development costs, Sega finds itself at a crossroads, needing to adapt to these evolving business landscapes. However, the company remains optimistic about the long-term growth of the Sega, or sorry, of the gaming market, driven by the diversification of services, service provi uh, provision. Uh, and the ability to deliver content globally, irris uh, irrespective of div uh, device or platform. Um, Sega and Web3. In a move that could be seen as a response to these challenges, Sega has ventured into the realm of blockchain gaming. The company, which first launched in 1960, announced a partnership with Japanese blockchain firm Double Jump Tokyo to develop its first blockchain-based video game. The initiative will leverage Sega's intellectual property in a Sega-licensed digital uh, collectible card game. Set to be released uh, on the uh, OSIS Home vs. L2 network. Uh, the game drawing from the uh, mythology of the romance of the Three Kingdoms and utilizing uh, the Saganashi, uh, Saganuoshi, I uh, probably butchered that name, uh, Tyson series IP represents Sega's foray into the burgoing field of blockchain and NFTs within the gaming industry. The strategic pivot is not without its context. The gaming industry at large has been exploring the potential of blockchain and non-fungible tokens despite facing criticism over concerns such as environmental impacts and ethical considerations. 
Giants like Konomi and Atari have already begun selling digital items as NFTs, signaling a shift towards digital ownership and the monetization uh, of in-game assets. And in February, the PC strategy game ba Blocklords uh, airdropped 300,000 LRDS tokens among its players and NFT holders. The Blocklords uh, game drop plans to run a total of five airdrop events, with the second one already live. Sega's exploration of blockchain technology, marked by its partnership with Double Jump Tokyo, is part of a broader industry trend towards embracing new technologies. The effort could redefine gaming future landscapes. Sega's venture into blockchain gaming could potentially offset some of the financial pressures it faces by opening up new revenue streams and engaging a different segment of gamers interested in the digital collectible space. While the company has faced setbacks with its traditional gaming portfolio, the integration of blockchain technology and NFTs into, the, into its strategy could pave the way for a new era of gaming driven by digital ownership and the global accessibility of games. <clears throat> As Sega navigates through its current financial challenges, its move towards blockchain gaming underscores a strategic ad adaptation to changing market uh, dynamics and customer, uh, sorry, consumer preferences. The company's ability to innovate and embrace new technologies will be crucial in its efforts to remain competitive in the evolving gaming industry. Could not agree more, guys. You are also seeing companies like Sony. And Microsoft looking to integrate blockchain tech into their, uh, excuse me, consoles. Uh, which is what leads me to talk about the connections with uh, Ando uh, and Sato with Sony and the possibility of a uh, Jasmine blockchain integration and the PDL with the Sony PlayStation. But... That is it for this one, guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button uh, if you liked the content and if you want to support the channel. Also, click the join button to become a member. Uh, get members-only content, microcap gems, guys. We just released a couple members' videos the other day on pro two projects that are going to go absolutely crazy, in my opinion. Uh, definitely worth checking out. You get members-only live streams on Sundays where we look at gems and stuff. Don't want to miss that, guys. Super cheap. Super, super valuable. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next one.